Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of FTL on board the VSS Potential, a Zolm Cruiser Type A. Now, we are trying to make it all the way to Sector 5 without ever upgrading our engine, our, our generators, which is quite difficult, <laughs> as we're finding here. Now, we have got a teleporter, we can try using that next time. We've got a whole bunch of possibilities. We've got an ion blast to help our halberd beam. We could be in a pretty decent setup for this sector, but we'll have to try it and see. So, also, just to point out, we are using the high-res backgrounds mod at the moment. So, if you like the backgrounds, let me know, and we can decide whether or not we're going to keep them, or get rid of the mod for the next time. We're also going to try buying our advanced helm and advanced sensors now, because we're going to need those if we're going to be trying to use our teleporters. Maybe we can teleport our humans off the ship and still have our engines giving us a tiny chance of evade. We have some nebula here we can jump into. Let's see what's in there. Save us some time. What's that giant black smoke? Oh, whoa, that's weird. Look at that. That's weird. What's causing that effect? The mouse there in the corner. At least there's like a black trail behind it. That's weird. Alright. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of our passing. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive, and if it gets away, we'll no doubt warn the fleet. Well, we're gonna blast them with our ion blast, set it on auto fire, because really you have to have it on auto fire if you're using the ion blast weapon. Otherwise, you're always having to recharge. And we missed like a fool. So recharge that him again. Hit him again, please. There we go. Oh no, they have an ion bomb! That's gonna wreck us. Okay, hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them. Wow, it one-shot our, uh, our assault and shield. Ooh, that sucks. Alright, we're gonna halberd beam right across this side now. Actually, we don't even need to halberd beam across that side. With their shields locked down with the ion blast, we can just focus on their weapons with the halberd beam. Okay, wow, that was... That was bad, that bomb hurt. And down they go. Okay. The ship breaks apart. We feel relief in the knowledge that we'll hopefully still be one step ahead of that fleet. We gather two fuel and missile and 17 scrap. Wow, that was bad. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Let's jump to the distress beacon straight away. No. We'll go one, two, three. Maybe work our way around that way. I don't know if we can make that jump, though. We'll probably go one... I don't know. We'll work our way around this way for just to be safe. Jump to the distress beacon. We need Zoltan, dang it. We find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. We hail them asking what's wrong, and they say, We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders! Well, I'd love to help you with those giant alien spiders, but I can't risk losing my Zoldan, so I'm gonna have to leave them alone, unfortunately. Sorry there, guys. We prepare to jump onwards. Oh, well, there is a distress beacon over there, though. Maybe we can... Is that a beacon there? Yeah. We can go one, two, three, four, probably that way. That might be useful. Hopefully there'll be something we can actually use at this distress beacon. We find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears that a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system isn't responding, so we're going to dock and try and rescue the survivors, because we, we need more Zoltan. We locate the highest concentration of life forms and bring the ship alongside the station. Before we can begin to offload the survivors, a huge blast splits the station apart. Our ship is thrown away and some debris pierces our hull. We watch helplessly as the last of, last of the survivors are consumed in the collapse of the station. Oh well, we tried. I don't know how that debris got through our Zoltan shield, but whatever. <laughs> A bunch of events don't work properly like that. Alright, what do we have here? Once we arrive, our screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools, and they've tried to shut down our engines. Our crew manages to keep them barely operational, and we move into attack. I love how that doesn't actually do anything to us, because we only have one engine. Now, that's a big rocket. If that hits us, it'll do four damage to our shield, and we'll knock our Zoltan's defenses pretty much straight out. So we want to try and turn it offline as quickly as possible. There we go. Good. Big rockets offline. And we should be pretty much home free here and killing them next shot with the halberd beam. If the ion blast doesn't miss anyway, we can keep their shields permanently disabled. And the halberd beam can kill them. Come on, come on, come on. And not quite. Not quite as good as I had hoped. They managed to repair it just, just the wrong time. Alright. Now that shield's offline again, halberd beam, do your job properly and kill them this time, please. To fix their doors, they're just about to fix their weapons. Down they go, Halberd Beam kills them. There we go. That's what they get. The power ship destroyed, our engines come back online, and we gather two fuel and 14 scrap from their wreckage. Do you sell any Zoltan? Let's actually go back over this way, we'll work our way the longest possible way around. Get as much money as we can before we go there. Soon after arriving in the system, we're hailed by a small cruiser. What good fortune that we happen to run into each other! Nothing personal, but you have some information we need. Alright then. 
There's only two of them on board that ship, so they're not going to be the fastest. Why am I attacking there? Take the shields, please. If we can double ion blast their shields before we get our halberd beam online, we can do a lot of damage to them. They are going to be knocking out our Zoldan defenses really fast, though. So we're going to want to do as much damage as we can. Come on, there we go. And fry them. Oh, they resisted the damage that I did to the last weapon system. That's unfortunate. We should be able to fry them across here again and leave them dead in no time. But that's going to hurt. Ow. Stop hitting us, dang it. I should, oh, I should have teleported on board and tried to fight them manually. They don't have a healing bay there. Oh, well. We have clearly bested us, they say. We merely request our lives. We can accept their offer of a fuel, a missile, and 15 scrap. Or we cannot accept the surrender and kill them. Let's kill them. Alright. It definitely did that wrong. I should have teleported on board and tried to kill the crew directly. That would have been nice. Oh, well. Ah, uh, well. You can't win them all. Knock up those shields and halberd beam them to death. Go on, go on, go on, down they go. We put a hole in our ship, though, the jerks. Alright. The ship explodes, leaving behind a fuel, a drone part, and 30 scrap. Not bad. But we do really need to get more crew. I need to make use of that teleporter, too. One more crew would be good, because it would mean we actually have enough crew to put people in the teleporter without losing our helm. But we'll have to wait and see, I think. It's hard to remember to use it, because it's way over in the other corner of the ship. And we can just let this fire burn itself out because it can't get through those doors, and there's nothing for it to damage on this side of the ship. We turn off our engines, turn off our shields, turn off our turn off our shields, turn on our med base, we can heal up Charlie. That level one language just fails you. Let's turn off our med bay, turn back on our shields. The problem is we don't have enough power to power the teleporter either. Now, we could jump to the store right away, but I think we'll do one more jump first and see if we can't make a little bit more money before going there in case they do have Zoltan for sale. Our scans reveal a mining base on a nearby planet which is long since abandoned. There's nothing of interest there. Okay, let's jump to the store then. Do you sell people? I would love to see that you do. We find ourselves surrounded again by mysterious alien vessels. They hail us with their mysterious technology for sale. Alright, well, no, not really. Hmm. Let's sell our Leto missile. Don't really, no, hold on to it. It only costs one energy. It's probably the best additional thing we can get if we get another Zoltan. <sighs> we can get. I want to buy one of these guys. Maradine? Henrik Osted? Or another human? Beth. Beth might be the best if we're just trying to make a boarding party. Let's buy them. They're the cheapest. That's the reason they'd be good. So, Shirai, you have fighting skill. You also have a bunch of helm skill now, though. Beth and. Charlie, you're going to be our, our uh, <laughs> tentative murder squad. I don't know if I'll actually be able to use you, because this teleporter is not going to be very well powered, but we're going to try anyway. Let's jump on and see if we can't get some use out of our new teleporter team. Upon completing our jump, we receive a message from a nearby ship saying, Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. We're going to reject that offer, though. Too bad. You'll regret this decision, they say. Uh, I don't think we will. I don't think we will. We're going to turn off our shields so we can turn on our teleporter. We're going to teleport them into the... Helm? Weapons? Helm. Helm. Teleport them into the helm. And we're going to start blasting out their shields with our ion blast, just for fun. We're going to kill this human really quick, and then the NG should rush over. We can kill him, and we should get a nice big reward. Should have been doing this earlier. Oh, thankfully they missed all those shots. That was really lucky on our part. If we can kill this guy, though, we should be pretty well set to knock them out. So that's all we have to do. Oh, we're gonna take some damage here, though. Ow, okay. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. We strip it of useful materials, getting 3 fuel, a missile, and 39 scrap. Awesome. Teleport back on board our ship. Also, we need to go fix the med bay, because it's broken. Right over there, guys. The nice thing about this is that since our Zoltan shield can help tank out some of that initial damage, turning off our main shields isn't entirely a stupid idea. It isn't the smartest idea, but it's not entirely stupid. And if we're relying on our... Oh, hang on. If we're relying on our, tele, our our boarding party to do damage, I can probably turn off the Ion Blast and the Halberd Beam, and that'll give us a lot more energy to play with. That might actually make this a lot easier if we can put our energy into other systems because it's, we're counting on the teleporter doing damage. That gives us four more energy we can play with. That might actually be a really good idea. Let's heal up Shirai before he dies, and being silly and letting him live with only 70 health. There we go. Because I don't think there's anything else we need to buy around here. Oh, there's another store. Maybe they'll help us a little. Let's go check. 
know I should probably shouldn't check every single one, but it's hard to say no. More mysterious alien vessels, this time offering us a weapon pre-igniter. Oh, more shield charge boosters, drone control cloaking. I can't buy the weapon pre-igniter, though. I'd have to sell something really good to get it, and I can't afford that. That's too bad. We're gonna fix our damage. We're gonna buy some more fuel. We just need more fuel. And we're gonna experiment here. Let's take, um, out of the med bay, put it in there. If we buy another, say, two spots of engines, and, yeah, two spots of engines for now, that means if I turn off my halberd beam, I can put that power in there. That might be good. I'll have to experiment with it and see. No, yeah, we only have one more jump to the exit. We're up to sector four, though. We only have to make it one more sector to survive here. Arrive at Long Range Beacon. There's a rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost here, so we'll intervene to defend them. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage us. Now, I don't know how much of a threat level those other people were, but it must have been pretty darn low for us to be a higher threat than them. <laughs> we're not really that dangerous here. We're relying mostly on the fact that people don't hit us very often. Oh, I should be using my Lido missiles for this. Ah, uh, oh well, whatever, I'll just leave it like this for the, moment, for the time being. Fire right across the... Come on, right across those main systems. There we go, knock out at least one of their weapons. That missile's gonna hit us in the face now. In the shields! Fan! Oh, it's the engines. Oh, well, actually, that's not bad. Since we've put those two additional levels in, we didn't lose the damage... <laughs> the damage system. Alright. I can handle that. That's cool. Now, ion blast out their shields one more time. Hopefully knock out the missile this time. Nope, they knocked out our helm. That's bad. And we didn't do any damage to their weapons that time. I don't know how that worked, but it did not work out well for us. Hurry up and repair that thing. We need to get out of here, guys. Ah, okay. Get in there, fix these systems, guys. You're the slowest, slowest repair team I've ever seen. Please break their rocket launcher. We need the rocket launcher to die. Nope, we talked to the other weapon. The irrelevant one. More damage taken. Okay. This is, uh, how you say really, really bad. <sighs> okay. Well, we probably could have afforded to swap out for the Lido missile there. It would have been faster. We probably would have taken less damage on the way. But... At this point, we might as well just stick with what we got. There we go. Down they go. That really sucked. All right, ship breaks apart, and we scalvage a missile. We scalvage, salvage a missile, a drone part, and 14 scrap from them. The outpost hails us, thanking us, and giving us two missiles, a drone part, and 30 scrap for our effort. Ugh, that was terrible. Okay, people go heal up because we took a lot of hits there. Everyone got beat up there, and they're going to be suffocating in a second, so they're going to need to go into the med bay as well. Repair, repair, repair. Good, okay. Shirai can go back over there. Hope can get back in the engines. Dream can get back in the shields. Ugh, okay. Power up our med bay again so these guys can get healed up. <laughs> this is just bad all over the place. Alright, you guys are back, so I'll send you back in the teleporter. We'll turn off our med bay, turn back on our shields, and we will jump out of here. We're on to sector 4 now. Did I say we were on Sector 4 last time? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we're on to Sector 4 now, and that should give us the chance we need. What are the Zoldan Control Sector? Because our Ion Blast should make it pretty easy for us to get through their super shields. We're far from <sighs> we're far from Federation home space here in Zoldan territory, and it's not clear whether the authorities will have any good will remaining. Still, we have to push forward. And we will do just that. We will push forward with everything we have. Actually, no, this is right. We only have to make it to Sector 5. If we can complete this sector, we're done. Hmm. Then we can turn it into a normal a normal playthrough, buy some power and actually get more powerful, but for the moment, we might actually have a chance here. We can swap them two fuel for drone parts, but we don't need drone parts, so we're going to reject that offer. I mean, there's a store right there, maybe they'll have Zoltan for us. <laughs> I'm so hopeful they're going to have Zoltan for sale, but they never do. A human ship hails, saying, My friends, please, there was nothing I don't have, and there was nothing worth wanting that I can't get. Why not take a look around my shop? We look inside, they've got some missiles, and some cloaks, and some drones, and some nothing. <laughs> Lots of nothing. We'll fix that damage, and get out of there. Alright, we're actually gonna put... Um... No, we'll hold on to our money for now. No, it's not. We're gonna buy another... Should we? Hmm. Buy another shield bar possibility, so that if we need to move Zoltan around, we can power that up as well. We're gonna jump to... This spot, I guess? Come on, people we can board who don't have med bays. That's what we need right now. Unmanned scout. We can't board them. A fight is unavoidable, they say. They've got bombs and big lasers. Okay, we're gonna blast them in the shield, and we're gonna halberd beam them like I've been doing the last couple times, right across that system there. And we missed with our ion blast. Magnificent. Just turn off the halberd beam until we hit them with the ion blast. 
Our shields managed to hold, though, surprisingly. Fry them across there. Now they only have the triple laser. Which is bad, but not as bad as it could be. And we'll hopefully build a fry across here again in a second. Oh, wow. Our Zoltan shield just failed, but our main shield's held. And we missed with our... No, 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 no. No firing the Halber Beam now. Ion Blast. Missed. Alright, now this is gonna hurt. Ow. There's two, di two hits, and our... Halber Beam? Right across. Let's fire it right... Nah, yeah, take out the weapons if we can. Right across there. Oh, no, that's bad. We turned the bomb back on. I should have thought about that. Now they're gonna be bombing us, and there's nothing we can do about it. Uh huh. I guess we'll send these guys over to repair the doors, because there's no point in having them sitting in the teleporter for no reason. And please don't hit anything important. Good, you hit an empty room, and there's a small bomb, so it didn't even do any hull damage. Awesome. Alright, and one last halberd beam across that room should kill them off. These are actually some of my least favorite enemies to hit, though. These drones, because all of their systems are really spread out. <laughs> They're just not fun. And down he goes, though. That's okay. The ship explodes, giving us three fuel, a drone part, and 30 scrap. You guys get back to your teleporter. We need that to work this time. Let's work our way over this way. What do we have here? A number of Zoltan ships. Civilian ships fighting off pirates. Unfortunately, one ship mistakes our purpose and moves into attack. They refuse all communication, so we have no choice but to fight them. Holy drones, Batman! That's going to be really bad for us in a second. Let's start blasting out their overshield. And then we can teleport in to fight them. That's what we're going to need to do, yeah. Wow, that's ridiculous. That's Oh man, that's going to wreck us so fast. Like, we're going to take a lot of damage from these guys really, really quickly. Ow, 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 ow. Um, come on, come on. Okay, well, Halberd beam them right across the drone control and the weapons, if we can manage it. I don't think it's going to quite reach that far. But we need to hit those... Oh, we can't even do that. It's not going to do any damage, because they have higher level shields. Whatever, we'll just turn off their overshield. We're going to turn off our weapons now. So we're going to turn Halberd beam offline, ion blast offline. Put on... You get in... The, well, hmm. You're going to get in the engine room to help out there. You're going to take that extra power, put it in there, teleport into their weapons. I think. This could be very bad. We're going to take a lot of hits while that ion recharges. And while it does, until it does, we're in a lot of danger here. Kill them, please. Please, please, please kill them. <laughs> please, 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 please. We're going to take a lot of hits. There's nothing we can do about it. Level 2 shields. Level 3 engines. We have the most defenses we could possibly have at the moment. And we're just counting on these guys, killing them in melee. Unfortunately, we're losing this fight. Amazing. These are, like, highly trained fighters, Ultim. <laughs> Sucks. Okay. Um... We'll vent the fire out of that room, I guess. Oh, and our helm is down, so we take every hit that they hit us with. And they just ioned out our teleporter, like jerks, so we can't run away, even. We're gonna lose our boarding party in a second. Don't you dare kill him. Let's run them down, let's run them up into the drone bay, maybe, for a bit. We killed one of them, that's good. And we're gonna run back this way. Hopefully he follows the wrong guy. Good, now we can kill them. This is gonna suck, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Okay, we killed them. Whew. There are no more life signs remaining. We stripped a few materials, getting two fuel, a missile, and 43 scrap. Oh man, that was terrible. That was terrible! We got wrecked there. Close those doors. Oh no. They have to run through there, we have no oxygen online. Oh no, I don't know if they can run through there with that little health. You guys, okay, um, hopefully they can survive with that oxygen they have long enough to have us fix the oxygen bay. That sucked. The strategy, I think, worked okay. The idea of putting our energy into shields and engines once we had our weapons offline. But, uh, it did not work as I'd hoped. Come on, put some oxygen back into those rooms, guys. There we go. Okay, now they can run through the through to the med bay. Jeez. Okay, that was bad. That was not not ideal. Once he gets over there, he'll power the room for them so they can start healing up. You have full health still, don't you, Dream? Yeah, you do. So Dream gets back in the shields. Aspiration's gonna head to weapons. Hope is gonna come in here to power the room again for the other two. Man, actually, you guys are going to go fix the radar while I'm waiting. We're going to send Charlie and Beth back to their positions. We're going to send our captain in to heal up as well. And then he and Hope are going to go fix the helm. Yes. Aspiration in the weapons. Dream in there. Man, this is a, 
vicious, vicious thing. You know, I probably should just make a beeline for the exit so I can start buying more upgrades. I'm messing around here trying to get everything I can out of the area, but it may, may wind up backfiring and killing me because I did a ton of damage. There's a store here. Let's see if there's anything good in there. Ugh. The Mantis crew here is hunkered down in the abdomen of a long-dead space whale. The only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. We'll <laughs> ask if it's worth a look. Of course it's worth a look. I got an Iron Blast Mark II, which is really good, except we can't afford to use it. Alright, nothing, nothing. Let's just fix our damage and hope we get through. Alright. Deactivate those engine points. Put one in there. Activate the halberd beam. Turn off the... No, I'll leave the teleporter on for the moment. See if we need it. Now we're gonna have a couple jumps left, so we'll see if we can work our way over the exit. I know I just said I shouldn't do that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh no! Zoltan ship patrolling this area hails us. This area is off limits. Secrecy is vital. They power their weapons. They've got a big laser, bombs, other things. We're gonna need to ion blast down those shields as quickly as possible. We're gonna also fire our laser across the five room spread as easily as much as we can, because that'll help take out their shields faster. And then our ion blast, we're actually gonna turn it off until the halberd beam fires. Start firing in there. Actually, you know what? This is a job for the teleporters, so we're gonna do our same thing we did last time. Turn off those systems, get out of weapons, into engines, and we're gonna teleport our no hang on. Um what? Why don't we have the power I expected us to have? There we go. In the teleporter, you jump into the weapons room and start killing them. Did they just ion bomb our teleporter room? I think they might have. <laughs> if they did, that's really convenient. They picked exactly the wrong place to attack. Now the other Zoltan should charge in here and start to fight us. We may lose against them too, because... Meh. He's leveled up though as a fighter, Charlie, so we might be okay. Well, Charlie's... That health bar? Does... Oh, it's Beth. Oh, I was looking at the wrong person. Beth is taking a beating. I was thinking, Charlie doesn't look like he has so little health. That's because Charlie doesn't have that little health. Alright guys, fight a little bit further and then we're gonna run. We're gonna run into the shield room for the moment. Hopefully kill that person. Good. And then we can hopefully kill this guy without him killing Beth. And then we should be good to go. There he goes! Now that ship has been emptied of hostiles, we search it, finding a prisoner who offers to join our crew, as well as 33 scrap. Fantastic. Bars! Alright, bars! teleport them back on board. You're not a Zoltan, but you'll do. Bars, you're going to be our mobile engineering repairman. Turn off that, turn on our med bay. But see, they had three shields there, we didn't have to worry about them at all, just sent our teleport borders in. Borders are a little bit overpowered, honestly. They make the game too easy in some ways. You can just bypass strong ships and just tank your way through. Alright, move them back to the teleporter room, turn off the teleporter room, put you, Aspiration, back in the weapons room, turn off the extra shield bar, turn off the extra engine, put them back where they're supposed to be, and we'll jump into our next area. We, like I said, we could jump straight to the exit, but it's, it just feels wrong to, to intentionally skip an area. We jump into a debris field that used to be a Zoltan cruiser. Unfortunately, its NG escort takes us for the attacker and retaliates. They refuse all hails. They do have an anti-missile drone, but that's not a problem, because we're not going to be worried about that anyway. We'll just ion blast through their shields, just like they are trying to ion blast through ours. Oh, they have an ion blast mark too. They're going to take our shields out really fast. Hmm. Okay, come on. Okay, now that that's down, hopefully we'll be able to fry them right across these systems and take out their med bay. That's the big target here. Yes! Med bay's offline. Alright guys, now we're going to turn on our teleporter. We're going to teleport into their med bay. Think yes, because if they repair that, then we're not gonna have any chance here. We're gonna move out of weapons into engines. Turn off all of those. Power up our shields. We cannot power up. How? I took a big hit. We cannot power up our shield. It's level two at the moment. There we go. There's level two shields. That should give us a smaller, slight chance against that ion blast, at least for the time being. These guys should be able to fight NG no problem, because NG do not have great fighting skill. And we are still gonna take a lot of hits here, I think. This isn't looking good for us. They missed one of the ion blasts. That gives us a hope here. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh. Okay. Come on, kill those NG guys. You gotta kill them. If they don't die, we're gonna be in trouble. Charlie and Beth have taken, what, half damage, but they've killed both of them, so there's one more NG to kill. They should be able to do that. No problem. The combined power should make it pretty easy, and we should be able to survive here. It might be a close-run thing, but we should be able to do it. There we go. No more damage taken. 
There are no more life signs remaining on the ship, so we strip it of useful materials, gathering a missile, a drone part, and 44 scrap. Alright, not bad guys. Oh, I see what I could have probably done. I probably could have turned off my teleporter for the time being, put that power into the engine as well. But, I did not. Alright guys, we need you to go heal up. We send our NG in there to fix that breach in the hull. That's what he's great at. And once that hull breach is fixed, we can vent some oxygen back in, and it'll make the whole thing a lot safer. And done. Okay. Vent some oxygen back into that room. Get back in there, finish the job. Oh. Also, the, <laughs> of course, the health bay isn't actually turned on, so let's heal that up. And uh, aspiration, you can go... Actually, you can go heal up, too. No point in leaving people damaged for no reason. Far as you have fixed the weapons, yes, good. So we're going to send our boarding party back over to their rooms, and we're going to send our NG over to go to healed up. Aspiration, you can get back to the weapons. Lovely. Once everyone is all good to go, we'll be able to jump on to our final sector before we reach the exit. Okay, we may actually get this achievement. Very difficult achievement challenge. We'll power up our weapons, no. Power up our weapons, no. Why can't I do that? Oh yeah, teleporter's turned on. Right, we have an extra power bar on the engine for no reason. Right, there we go. Alright, distress beacon. What say you, distress beacon? What do we have here? An immediate pirate ship de detected! It seems this distress beacon was nothing but a trap. They don't have a health station, they do have rocks though, we probably won't be able to kill them in an initial push, but you know what, we're going to do it anyway, because they don't have the health station. So we're going to put ourselves back into survival mode, and turn off our weapons, put power into shields, put power into teleporter, teleport into their weapon bay, hopefully kill the slug first, because he's the most fragile of their crew. He has nowhere to run either, so he should go down without too much of a fight, and we should be able to survive this uh, combination of halberd beam and single shot laser pretty effectively. Especially if we can do some damage to their sh their weapon system, but it doesn't look like that's going to work out. Especially because this rock is going to give us a hard time here. Oh, I thought they were both rocks, so we have an NG in there. The NG should go down really fast, and then we should be able to focus fire on the rock. Although, you need to get out of there for the time being. Come back in now. And get back out. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, you know what? We're going to run to a different room. Both of us. If he follows us and attacks the wrong person... We can keep fighting him for a bit longer, but we may be pressed here for having to run away. Come on, come on. Yeah, we might have to run. I hate running away, though. We're so close to killing him. Alright. We're gonna run up to this room. Ow, it hit us. It hit us despite our shields. Alright, and teleport out. Zoop! Alright, guys, go heal up quickly, because that guy is gonna hurt us if we don't. And, uh... Hopefully we'll be okay here. It doesn't look like there's any damage to systems there. We're going to power down our evasion. We can't do that. Power... Oh, hmm. I guess I'll send him into the... Sh Aspiration, you're going to the shield room now. So we can power down our engines by one and put it in the med bay. Good. We hopefully we'll be able to just tank them out here. If we can get a little bit more health, I can run back to the teleporter and kill him manually. That'll do. Get over there right about time when it recharges, and we can jump into the helm and kill that rock. Here we go. Zoop. Alright, kill them, kill them, kill them. Alright, with the crew dead, we're also able to take the fuel out of storage. We gather four fuel and 48 scrap from their ship. Fantastic. Alright, teleport them back on board. Well done, boys. I went paused. Unpause. Teleport them back on board. Aspiration back in the weapon system. It's probably better for us to just leave it like that, honestly, but you know what? We're going to do it this way anyway. Turn off the teleporter. Once these guys heal up, we will turn off the med bay. I like having the... There we go. I like having the weapons set up as the default on systems, because if something has a health bay, we want our weapons to be charged as quickly as possible. Let's jump to the exit. We might even be able to do an extra jump before we run out of space. We'll have to see. What's here? We arrive at the long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, we can jump to the next sector. Ah, they want to repair some damage. We could, uh, yeah, we could afford 5 damage for 10 scrap. Thank you. Alright, we made it. Let's jump out of here before we get overrun. We can go to NG Homeworlds or the Slug Home Nebula. Either of those would be very dangerous for us, so we're going to go to the NG Homeworlds for the moment, I think. Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't really make much of a difference, I don't think. Slug Home Nebula has a higher chance of giving us that power reduction and... Ah! Achievement unlocked! Manpower! Yes! We did it! We unlocked the Zolden Cruiser Type B! Fantastic! And now we can go into a more traditional system and power up our weapons and power up things manually. Finally! 
We've arrived in energy space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic lifeforms, but they're usually willing to help. Oh, thank goodness. There's that. Level 2 shields all the time. There's that. Level 2, simple 3 engines. Awesome. You know what? Let's do another one. Level 4 engines. Ugh. Glorious. <laughs> we actually have power in our systems again. Ugh. It's so good. Alright. Well, we've completed our main objective. Now, let's see if we can continue on to the edge of space and kill the Federation. Or kill the Rebel Federation. Yeah, we're, we're totally on your side, guys. We're just coming to kill you. Now, kill that Rebel flagship. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. If you've liked the episode so far, don't forget to like the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.